Town Memphis family reached out to the I-Team for help after they say a contractor botched a lead removal project in their home. Back in 2017, tests found their children had high lead levels in their blood, so they took part in Shelby County's lead removal program. The family says the contractor did shoddy work, and now their house is in worse shape than before the actual work began. The local I team's Jenny DePrizio went to the home to see for herself. I should have said, no, I don't want your help, you know, um, because they've ruined our house. Michael and Ray Armstrong are frustrated about what's happened to their house. I mean, I wish that we could, they could just put it back the way it was, you know. In 2017, the Armstrongs signed up for Shelby County's lead paint removal program, hoping to make their home safer for their children. The county hired contractor began working on the home more than two years ago. And to this day, the project isn't complete. Right now, everything is still the way it's been you know it hasn't changed um, since they left the Armstrong say every one of the 12 windows the contractor replaced is the wrong size and they can't open any of them this window was four inches too short so the contractor had to rig it to fit on another window when they put it back on they filled it with concrete and there's just big holes on both sides from the outside, you can see none of these windows were ever painted, but there's some things that weren't supposed to be painted that were. It was a stained door that they painted white for whatever reason. During the lead paint removal process, rooms are supposed to be sealed to prevent toxic dust from spreading. But the Armstrong say this is how the contractor did it at their house. Cell phone pictures showing gaping holes in protective plastic allow dust from the scraped paint to blow through the house. This is what was done to protect clothes, according to the Armstrongs. If you look closely, you can see the plastic placed on top of the hanging clothes, leaving most items exposed. It was such a far cry from what they were, you know, the guidelines they were supposed to be following. After an inspection of the site, the Tennessee Department of Environment and Conservation found the contractor violated the Tennessee Lead-Based Paint Certification Act and ordered her to properly clean the site. Also, the Armstrongs say the contractor's attempt to clean dust that had spread inside the house didn't work. It failed not one, but two dust clearance tests. The county eventually removed the contractor from the job. But at that point, the Armstrongs say no one wanted to tackle the project. After five unsuccessful bid attempts, the county sent the Armstrongs this letter canceling the project. I just couldn't believe that they were going to just do us like that, leave us with this mess. The contractor was JC Construction. The owner, Juanita Cross, didn't want to talk about the Armstrong's home. We're trying to kind of find out what went wrong with that situation. That's between the county and him. It, it's and all the information from the county. He basically claims that the house is in worse shape now than when you went there. I'm not going to say, like I said, I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to leave it to the county. OK. Did you do a thorough job at the house? Let the county answer all the questions. Shelby County isn't talking either. A request for an interview with Mayor Lee Harris or anyone in the administration was denied. It's certainly a tragedy anytime you have a situation where somebody who tries to take uh, the benefit of a government service and ends up a, in a worse position than where they started. Attorney Kevin Schneider doesn't represent the Armstrongs, but says the county should not leave the family high and dry. I think the county, at least, if not from a legal standpoint, purely from an equitable standpoint, should step up and try and help them. I mean, they're the ones that got them into this situation. Do you feel like the county abandoned you? Absolutely. Just hung us out to dry. Now, the Armstrongs say the only good news in all of this, their children's lead levels have come down. Wow, this sounds like a mess. Yeah, you know, it really is. You know, lead in local homes is a concern. To put this in perspective, nearly 200,000 homes in Shelby County were built before 1978 and could contain lead paint. And lead paint, as you may know, cause, can cause health problems, especially in young children. Well, Jenny, where are the majority of these homes actually located? Well, if you think about it, think of the older parts of the city areas built before 1978. But check this out. There are less than 10 certified contractors who remove lead paint from residential houses houses 
in uh, Shelby County, I found out. Now, last fall, the city of Memphis received a $5 million grant to remove lead paint from homes. So what does this mean for all the folks who need lead paint removed from their homes? How does the city plan to fill in the gap? If you go to my story on localmemphis.com, you'll see. And we know you'll stay on top of this. Thank you, Jenny.